Have you heard of the Oort Cloud? It sounds like something out of science fiction, a swirling veil of icy fragments drifting at the edge of everything we know. But it's not fiction. It's one of the most mysterious and distant parts of our solar system. And today we're going to journey there, billions of kilometers from the sun, to uncover the secrets of this cosmic frontier. Let's start with a sense of scale. You know Pluto, right? It's the tiny, icy world that once held the title of Ninth Planet. Well, the Oort Cloud begins at least 2,000 times farther from the Sun than Earth is. That's 2,000 ARU, or astronomical units. And it doesn't stop there. It may stretch all the way out to 100,000 astronomical units. That's nearly a quarter of the distance to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. It's not a flat disk like the asteroid belt or the Kuiper belt. No, the Oort cloud is thought to be a spherical shell of icy bodies that surrounds the entire solar system, like a giant cosmic snow globe. But here's the twist, we've never actually seen it. So how do we know it's there? That's where the story really begins. Chapter one, a theory born from comets. In the mid 20th century, a brilliant Dutch astronomer named Jan Oort was trying to solve a mystery. Where do long period comets come from? Unlike short period comets, which circle the sun every few decades and originate from the Kuiper belt, long period comets appear unexpectedly. Their orbits can stretch tens of thousands of years. Some swing in from all directions, not just from the plane of the solar system, and many of them never come back. Jan Oort noticed something curious. These comets seem to come from very far away, much farther than anything we had mapped. So he proposed the existence of a distant icy reservoir, a kind of comet nursery surrounding the sun, a place where countless frozen objects waited, undisturbed, for eons until something knocked them inward and turned them into the bright comets we see in the sky. This idea became known as the Oort Cloud. 